Okay, let her go. Woo! 9.1 pound base weight. Crikey, man. It's gotta be that Pikachu that's in there. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Well, how y'all doing? <laughs> Mask hikes coming at you again from Lus Hill State Forest. We are at Jones Creek Pond. It is me and Snot Rocket. We have got our gear and we are spending the night, baby. We don't know where yet. We might go all the way around the pond towards that campsite that I know that's over on the dam. Or we might just find a stealth camp somewhere else. I haven't decided yet. We're just going to walk and until we don't feel like walking no more. We find a spot that we like and we'll call it there. Uh, we've been here several times, but we're hoping to kind of explore some area we haven't been to yet. Um, guess we'll just have to see how it goes. Either way, we know we're outside. We know we've got our packs on our backs. We know we're sleeping up out here. It's a little cloudy, but should be a good night. Well, it may seem like a foregone conclusion at this point, but I have pretty much decided, regrettably, that I will not be returning to the AT this year. As of right now, the plan is to go again next March and apparently be part of the class of 2021, not 2020. Not what I wanted. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that have started here in the last days and even week um, and then that's that's their call I, I didn't want to be out that late into the year um, and and frankly I already felt like I was running just trying to make the timeline that I was on originally and if I were to go down there and, and restart or, or jump back on at Dick's Creek Gap or whatever it just I would not feel like I was going to enjoy myself. Everybody that I was going to be around is either further up the trail or has decided not to go at all. So I think I'm just going to wait until next year. Now, for now, I think the plan is that towards the end of July, I'm going to go out to Colorado and at the very least section hike. Uh, continue my section hike of the Colorado Trail. I don't know if I'll go the whole distance or if I'm just going to knock out as many sections as I can in a couple of weeks. But as of right now, I think that's my my goal. That's my plan. Uh, I know there's a bunch of 2018 AT through hikers that are going to be out there. But I think that they are all haven't reassessed my calendar. I think they're all going to be about a week and a half ahead of me. So I probably won't catch any of them. Which is unfortunate because I was kind of looking forward to meeting Grizz in person. But it is what it is. Um, I've got a family vacation planned for the beginning of July. That in light of current events is going to take precedence over me heading to Colorado. But for now, Snot Rock and I are going to... Keep hiking, and uh, crazy man here is actually contemplating going out to work that section hike of the CT with me. So, 
we're going to train a little bit and see if we're up for it. I can tell you this much. Eight weeks of sitting around and doing nothing. <laughs> I got a paunch and uh, my thighs went, what are we doing? <laughs> So we stopped at the top, looked down at the ground, looked down the hill, cracked his knuckles really loud, hollered rock and roll, and took off running. I have no words. Strangest kid on the planet. Well, should we see what we're gonna have for supper? You guys. You're eating nothing, dude, and you're freaking people out. You don't have to live with it. Well, we finished supper. I think we ran out of fuel, so we may be eating granola bars for breakfast instead of oatmeal. And cookies. <laughs> and one of those Larry and Lenny cookies that he's hell bent for leather to eat. I and I eat it. So it's getting on to hiker midnight. Did you have a good hike so far today? Yes. Yeah? How was your supper? You didn't say anything. Good. Was it good? Mine was okay. First time I'd ever had that uh, jerk rice and beans from Mountain House. Come. Or excuse me, not, it, was a, it wasn't Mountain House. I think it was Backpacking Pantry. And then I have bee stick. Anyway, so we're going to get up in the morning, eat some sort of breakfast, we don't know what yet, and do some more hiking, and then probably head back to town. It's Memorial Day weekend coming up, so we'll probably get with Snot Rockets, Nona and Nana, um, and uh, go to the cemeteries and put stuff out on, on grave sites, even though it's still quarantine. I guess we'll just have to wear masks to keep Nona and Nana safe. But anyway, we're going to kick back and relax. And then we will see you in the morning. Creepy crawly little bastard better keep himself on the outside of the tent. That's all I know. Get him out. Well, all right. Nice lazy morning. It's about 845. We are on trail. We uh, kind of slept in a little bit and then... Uh, Broke camp and had some breakfast. Well, we had some granola bars. <laughs> we are out of fuel, so didn't cook anything. That's okay, though. They were good. They were yummy, too. Yeah. Snot Rocket says his was yummy. Uh -huh. my medicine? And he took his medicine without even water. The boy needs help. <laughs> but we're going to hike a little bit and see how we feel. We're going to head back towards the van. There's probably, I don't know, a mile and a half, two miles back to the van. And uh, if we're still feeling like hiking more, then we're going to go to the other side of the road and continue on in the forest. And if we're ready to call it a day and go see Nona and Nano, uh -huh. then we'll go see Nona and Nano. Yeah. But for now, let's hit the trail. So he put his sh camp shoes on his pack in kind of a unique manner. Guess it doesn't really matter, but the way he's got them on there makes it look like his pack's trying to walk the other way. Or every way. I don't know, I can't tell. Are you losing to that or winning?
Yeah, he's telling you to get away. Well, hey y'all, obviously we're back in the van. Uh, we tapped out at about 4.2 miles total. Uh, we did like 2.8 last night, so do the math, 1.5 or whatever this morning, uh, which I'm good with. It's a short hike, but it's not rocket back there. It's the first time he's had his pack on in like a year. His, his backpack, his full gear pack, uh, and he had 9.2 pounds base weight. Uh, which is pretty impressive. I mean, I had the tent and all the food, but you know, hey, he had his clothes and his sleeping bag, quilt, and uh, uh, although he doesn't have his quilt, he's got one of my Kamek Bobcats. He Bobcats. He's waiting for his uh, Cedar Ridge quilt to come in. Hopefully, in the next few weeks, he's got a Cub quilt uh, coming. I can't remember what color he picked, but he's excited about. It. He picked a yellow one, I guess. So he's looking forward to that. Uh, but we had a good trip. We had a good trip. We are knocking around the idea of maybe checking out a few spots on the way back home, but We do we do if we don't we don't we got things to do this afternoon anyway, so But thanks for joining us as always appreciate it if you enjoyed watching the video, please subscribe give it a like and uh, even hit that bell and Google will notify you whenever we put out new videos Other than that Man, it's it's been a good day. It's been a good trip. It was a little breezy, but temperatures were nice. I think we were both warm enough in our quilts. And we just had fun. As always, though, we wish you were here. <laughs>